Okay. Hi. Who's hey. there? I think that's your assistant right there. Yes, that is my, my All assistant. Right. Yeah. Maybe gonna... Chelsea, can you turn off your camera? I don't know if she can see it. Yep, oh. there we go. Okay. Perfect. Right when I hit record. Okay. Yeah, Three, two, fine. one. Now we're starting. Hi, I'm Siobhan Sarna. I'm so glad you're here to learn about castor oil packs. This is a chance for you to do something that's topical. Don't you love that part? That's good for your gut and your body and your liver. Uh, my very special guest, Marisol Tiejo. Perfect. He is a wonderful naturopath who has been educating me about castor oil packs for years. And she has um, an opportunity right now to share even more information with the world because you are here. A couple of things, whether you have SIBO, IBS, inflammation, you name it, cysts, boob cysts, whatever you got going, we're going to mm -hmm. talk about how castor oil can help you. The main focus is on digestion, but as we all know, it's all connected. So hello, beautiful. Hello, my darling Siobhan. It's so wonderful to be with you again. It's it's wonderful to meet you. Oh, <laughs> thanks for thanks for joining us. Okay, let's just take it from the top. What if someone does not know what about castor oil in general, the history awesome. and what to do with it? They awesome. We have a yeah. special coupon for you, et cetera. But yes. go ahead and take it from the top if you would, Doc. Yeah, I think it, the biggest thing is most people know or have heard of castor oil for now at this point in age, like eyebrows, eyelashes to grow them or maybe to grow your hair. And then some of you might have a family member, grandma, mother, godmother, somebody who would give you a tablespoon of castor oil, maybe because you were a bad girl or bad boy. This is honestly like a punishment for some people. <laughs> Let me know in the chat if that's true. Um, and then at the same time, you, or you would get it just as a natural way to weekly cleanse, especially if you're from like a Caribbean country or in countries of hot climates. It was a, a true, true tradition. When, whenever I go to Jamaica or whenever I go to uh, St. Lucia, any of the different countries down south, uh, Colombia, the practice of castor oil, it was used as a purgative to clean out the gut of any parasites or any problems. Mm -hmm. So that's how most of us have, have heard of castor oil up until now. Um, then there's this amazing, you know, little known secret. Now it's getting known more and more and more around the world of the castor oil pack. And to tell you the truth, and Siobhan, you know that I, you and I have geeked out for hours on the topic just of castor oil pack, you know, um, but castor oil packs are ancient. They're an ancient treatment that, you know, had its time and then kind of hid down again, had its time in Hippocrates, the Greeks, and then it, it came down, the traditional Chinese medicine doctors were using it. So were Ayurvedic practitioners. And then it popped up again in, with Pliny the Elder, who was the doctor of, of, to the empresses, the doctor to the empresses of the emperors who were having problems having babies, conceiving. He actually used castor oil plaques quite a bit uh, for the uterus and the ovary. So it was really, really interesting history there. And then it disappeared for a, a while, came back in Nature Cure in Germany. And then in North America, it was popularized by the sleeping prophet. Some of you may have heard of him, known as Edgar Casey. And Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet, what he was said to do was that he would he would basically get into a meditative state. And he was able to tap into Akashic records if you're if you're into these things. But Either way, he prescribed it to 1,600 patients and had successful results with all those 1,600 patients. From there, he was known as the father of medicine of natural health in North America. It spread like wildfire to naturopathic doctors and to close-knit community circles. So it was really only the people who were in the know in natural medicine who were right. doing castor oil packs. Right. So that's the history. That is the history. Yeah. It's very, very interesting. So yeah. we're not suggesting anyone uh, receives Thank medical uh, advice from this session, by the way, yes. nor are we suggesting that anyone drink it. That's not what's in our sip cup. We're not saying for you to take a tablespoon. No. <laughs> Don't do it. You will not love us anymore. Okay. And we love yeah. you and we want yes. you to get great results. I love the idea of something topical to give so many benefits. So what do castor oil packs actually do for us? See, and this is the 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 cherry on top of the dairy free Sunday I made mean, coconut <laughs> ice cream. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is the truth. Because here we are, most of us like when it comes to things like leaky gut, 
SIBO, chronic disorders within the digestive tract. You know, so many of us basically are walking around with a leaky gut. And I'd go even as far to say that everybody's walking in with a leaky gut. Everyone has a leaky gut. It just depends on how good they are with their diet and their lifestyle and their practice to maintain it not being leaky. That's truly my belief is that everyone in this world is walking around with a leaky gut. And, and, you know, the studies show it because if you have any level of stress, whenever you have stress, you have a leaky gut and we all have stress. And so that's kind of the bottom line there. But how come all of us walking around with a leaky gut, unless we're really, really good at maintaining it, why are we taking everything orally? It To me, that was the big part in therapeutic practice that didn't make sense. And for me personally as well, too, because I was suffering with severe IBS. I mean, I would either be chronically constipated or I'd have chronic diarrhea, which would be so bad. I knew I wasn't absorbing a morsel of my supplements, of my food, of anything. So when casserole packs came into my life, I was treating because I was, I was convalescent. I couldn't get out of bed. I was at the point where I was so drained because of lack of absorption of nutrients. And, you know, here I was being prescribed more supplements, more IV therapy, IV therapy being so expensive. And I just realized there had to be another way. And I remembered back in my past being told to do casserole packs for a long, long time. And in effect, what a casserole pack is, is it's this little, this awesome little uh, compress. So all that you do is simply pour castor oil on the inside on the soft cotton flannel layer and you place it over your liver area which is on the right side mm -hmm. now you wear that for at least one hour to overnight but to tell you the truth, Siobhan, when I was first told about this, and I, I'm, I'm sure many of you listening out there or watching this are thinking the same thing too, you kind of go that sounds like woo woo. How on earth is something from our skin going to absorb and suddenly totally help us absorb and digest our food better and eliminate better? Well, I thought the exact same thing too. So if you guys are thinking that that's totally okay, I understand it does sound like woo woo because we're, we're really, really used to taking pills and capsules and supplements, right? It's, it's, it's just our, it's, it's our paradigm, you know, a pill for an ill. It's not go get the compress and put it on your abdomen in order to feel better, <laughs> which is, which in effect is what casserole packs do is you basically pour the oil on the casserole pack, you put it on your body. And for most people, they get an immediate feel better sensation. And the reason why is because it shifts your body into the relaxed state. It activates the awesome vagus nerve that all of us are always trying to activate when we're trying to heal. It also helps people sleep better. And when you sleep better, you can naturally detoxify and cleanse better. So that's why you'll hear people say liver detoxification, lymphatic drainage, and colon cleansing too, because it helps you eliminate better. So when you start doing castor oil packs, not only are you going to get the benefits of feeling better, sleeping better, pooping better, better liver detox, uh, colon cleansing, lymphatic drainage, which helps your hormones and everything else under the sun, but you're shifting your body into the relaxed state. And it's that relaxed state that helps your body do everything better. So it's such an, a beautiful treatment, truly. And absorption. Ah, those supplements, ah. You, you know, that yeah. I want to make sure I highlight that because those supplements, if I was taking in, say I was taking in 20 supplements at one point in time, 25, and I know there's many people taking so much like that. I was probably maybe absorbing 10% of my supplements, but with castor oil packs, you're absorbing a lot more than that. And I, I, I veg to say, or mention, oh, I guess I'm would say that I'm going to guess it's probably around 60 to 80 percent of your absorbability is increased with castor oil packs but now that's hearsay I don't know that for exact sure. fact but I'd imagine it'd be somewhere along those lines uh so we had a couple of people ask for the information because they have to go soon about how to order the castor oil kit pack that I asked uh Marisol to create for us so mm -hmm. she has a bunch but the one that I really love is 18 percent off and there's the code in the chat and let's just go over the model here that you, the model, yeah. the model. Yeah. Uh, so maybe some of you have tried castor oil packs and they were like this, hang on, this little yeah. flannel, yeah. right? Yeah. That then ruined your favorite nightie or your husband's t-shirt yeah. and then stained your sheets because that castor oil is extremely thick yeah. and gooey. And, yeah. and so Marisol invented something that yeah. is elegant and simple and like the smartest thing I've seen since sliced gluten-free bread. I love that. That's what I say too. <laughs> Do you? We're such, we're such nerds. And it's, that is, go ahead and show us if you it, would. It's so true because this pack, we just, I, for me, I'm a busy woman. I know all of you out there are busy women. Maybe you're a busy man listening to this, busy or, or whatever, however you identify. 
but I'm busy and I want to do my natural healthcare practices. I want to feel better. I want to do everything that I can possibly. And I love things that are easy. And I do really love self-care practices because I feel like I'm doing even more than just taking a supplement, but, but, but I want it to be simple. And so this is what I wanted from my castor oil pack, which is why I created this is that I wanted it to be under two minutes to get ready to prep and to put it on my body. And that I could just basically like sink into my beautiful, comfortable, you know, uh, latex and wool bed, which is amazing, is, is awesome, or oh, sorry, silicone uh, latex and wool bed, which is hypoallergenic and amazingly comfortable. It's brand new too. <laughs> but I want to feel comfortable and I didn't want to make a mess. Um, my first castor oil packs were all, all organic cotton. And unfortunately they made a mess because the oil would seep through. So I've been doing these now for over a decade, if you'd imagine. And so now we've came up with this model and this model is the model that has like an outside, uh, it is plastic, it's an outside plastic shell, but it's the cleanest, healthiest version of plastic that I could find. The same that's used for say baby diapers that are the holistic reusable baby diaper kind. So all you do is simply just take out the pack. The inside is organic cotton flannel. You take your castor oil bottle right there and you pour two tablespoons. It's nice and simple. And then you put it on yourself like this. You blot it, make a little blot, and then you just put it on your body and then you tie it up where it's comfortable for you. Now this fits all body sizes, large, small. You just tie it differently depending on your circumference of your waist and the nice thing about it is that it really, it does feel like a nice warm hug when you put it on your system. Before, you also needed to add heat to a castor oil pack. And there's no need for this because of this actual outside plastic layer actually forms a great barrier that holds your heat in. So you, you save another step there. So this made it just so nice and easy for me, for my patients and for my people that I just decided, you know, I think the world really needs to get these great castor oil packs. Just make it simple, keep it clean and, you know, do it in a good, healthy way and on the regular because castor oil packs like your supplements or like exercise or like eating well, isn't just something that you only do for two days out of the month. You know, this is something we stick to on a good, healthy practice. And I would put this as important as breathing well, as exercise, as your nutrition, and even, even higher than supplements, to tell you the truth, because if you're just taking supplements, you're probably not absorbing them that great. But if you have this on with your supplements, then you've got a winning combination. Smart. Okay. We have some hot questions coming in. Uh, how often do you apply the pack? Hi, Odessa. So I ideally recommend it like for my patients and my kind of practice and personally to wear it nightly and to work with your cycle as well, too, because we have a liver pack, other packs as well, too, but you can, you can plan it out with your cycle. If you like the time, the body is most, if you're say, you're like, oh, I don't want to do it every night. I only want to do it in the most opportunistic time. Well, there, the time that you're the most as a female, the most highly detoxifying and cleansing is from the time that you start your period up into ovulation. So if there's only one time in the month that you're going to be doing a castor oil pack, make sure it's in that time because that'll be a real great benefit to you. But okay. like, yeah, like repeat anything, that again, oh, repeat it again. One more time. So the best time of the month for women to detox and cleanse. So if you want to schedule a cleanse is from the, for the time that you bleed to the time of ovulation. So the first part of your cycle. Okay. Now, this is important, especially if you're trying for fertility or if you're trying for, you know, regulating your hormones. Um, you can also go based on the moon if you don't have a, a proper period, like if you're, say, with PCOS or perimenopausal and your period is just like gangbuster all over the place. If you're in PCOS and you want to have a baby, if your goal is to have a baby, then you would start to do your castor oil pack on the new moon. Because usually mothers or women who are fertile are menstruating on the new moon. If you're a woman in perimenopause, like myself, I'm, it's a full moon today. I'm menstruating today. And so I, my, I do my castor oil packs for sure from now until ovulation. Yeah. Okay. So just staying on, on a nice little rhythm. So it depends on you, but I do do them every day because I, I love the benefit and I want to keep staying young. Like I look like a spring chicken. <laughs> I do. Okay. So menopause anytime is fine. Yeah. Yeah, anytime. And in menopause, go by the moon too, because you're still cycling under uh, a, a full moon cycle. So you would start your, your pack on a full moon all the way for like 15 days, and then you could stop it if you wanted to. So if you're doing like a cleanse and you want to optimize with your cleanse, if you're not the type who's like committed to doing it every single night, although that's a lot better and you'll get a lot more benefit and you'll, you'll see the difference, um, you know, you could try to, you could do it that way if you wanted to make it simpler. Okay. 
I think it's simpler just to do it every night because I do too. The track yeah. mode. Um, okay. Let's talk about, okay. How many times can you use a single pack and how do you clean it? Awesome. So the recommendation for the castor oil pack is to use it for a two month period. That's regular nightly usage. Um, after that, we say to discard it and get a new one. And you can actually go for two months without having to wash it as long as you just don't over apply the amount of castor oil that you have. A lot of people oversaturate and when you oversaturate it, it's, you know, it gets really goopy and then you think you have to wash it. Um, you just try to use less with these packs is more old recommendations were like saturate the pack. It's not needed. All you need the first time, two tablespoons after that one tablespoon, just for a new fresh layer. And then okay. you have a better, a better situation. Okay. Please put your questions in the Q and a, um, so how, let's see, can you overdo it? Hey, Jennifer. Great question. Yeah, Honestly, good. with castor oil, no, it's such a light, small dosage that you're using topically. And a big aspect of this treatment is the compress. You actually need the compress, the organic cotton flannel. Uh, many of you maybe have heard of weighted blankets, I'm assuming. Weighted blankets have a calming sensation on the body. And with castor oil, this is acting in a way like a weighted blanket right in a specific therapeutic area that's going to trigger um, reflexes from this area into your liver, into your pancreas, into your stomach, into your ascending and, and transverse and descending colon. Like it's specifically created in the shape and size to cover the proper dermatomes and reflex zones of the body. So it, you really, really want to have the pack. You can't just only use the oil and you really can't do too much of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so are there, let, let's talk castor oil itself. Because there's good, better, and best. Yes, yes. Let's talk about the kind that you have introduced me to and so many other people to in that amber glass bottle. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, Go so ahead. castor oil, it, you know, in general, when we're recommending uh, practices with oil that are oil-based or even dietary oil, you know, you're always looking for the best quality oil. And oil really should be manufactured and, and placed in glass because oil, you see, carries all types of uh, toxins because most toxins are oil-based. So really, any oil that you're buying, you want to be looking for it to be within a glass bottle. Castor oil, though, it's even more important and imperative that it is in a glass bottle for the reason that castor oil, one of its amazing actions is that it is a carrier oil. It is the best carrier oil. In fact, it works better than jojoba oil, better than sweet almond oil. If any of you out there are, are fascinated or into essential oils, castor oil in a glass bottle is the oil that you would want, would love to choose because it's the one that's going to help to bring in the essential oils deeper into the tissues and then have a greater effect. So why castor oil as that major master carrier oil, we want it in a glass bottle because if not, if it's in plastic, it's going to likely, again, take the plastic from the plastic bottle and bring that into your body. And here you are trying to do a detoxification and a cleansing practice. You don't want to be adding any more plastic to that mix. That's for sure. Yeah. The other thing is the quality. Castor oil can be processed in a variety of different ways. Uh, like your olive oil, remember olive oil, you always want it to be extra virgin. Well, castor oil, you also want it to be extra virgin. That's a specific grade within the castor oil family. Many on the market are not extra virgin. Um, they may be, you want it to absolutely also be chemical free in terms of it being expeller pressed or cold pressed. Ex either expeller pressed or cold pressed is good. Um, what we're looking for is though for sure that the label also says hexane free because how you can extract oil from a bean is also by using a chemical like hexane. And again, this is a cleansing and detoxification practice that's gonna balance your hormones. The last thing that you wanna do is add in more ingredients that are toxic that unbalance your hormones, right? It's a no there. So make sure you're, and Queen of the Thrones, I mean, I searched high, high and wide and actually in fact right now we're starting to look for farms and we're going to actually be farming our castor oil and yeah, working with nonprofits in Latin America and farming castor oil in order to really help. Number one, it's a sustainable um, plant, very, very sustainable, it uses very, very little water, um, but you do want to make sure that it, you're getting an organic source and expeller pressed and that it is extra virgin or extra virgin like your olive oil and always, always in a glass bottle. And you'll know the color, the smell also should be very, very faint and the yeah. color will be golden. That's a golden okay. castor oil that you're looking okay. for. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Could you put essential oils in like a drop of frankincense, frankincense, would that be okay? 
I love that combination. I do that actually a lot with um, inflammatory cases like inflammatory bowel, like, and then just put it in with the castor oil on the pack and then place it on the liver. Remember, whenever you're using oil therapies, whether it's essential oils or castor oil, um, synergy of combining the formulas together really takes you a lot further. So a okay. There's lots you can do. Lot you can get very creative, actually. <laughs> and do you need to wash your skin after using the pack? I don't need to, and I find most people report that they don't need to because our castor oil, again, the higher quality castor oil, it absorbs. It. I mean, I put castor oil all over my body. I put castor oil on my body before dry brushing. I put castor oil on my body, like pretty much for everything, and it absorbs. The only time I feel I have to wipe it off, uh, as an example, I gave my husband. He was having low back pain, so I was giving him a low back massage with castor oil and then following up with like a myofacial uh, releasing tool. Um, and of course, in a treatment like that, you're using a significant amount more oil. So then, you know, with a towel, I abrasively took it off and he found such benefit afterwards. So that's, that's, there's so many ways for castor oil to be used. Yeah. That is awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, so do you have to apply castor oil every time you use it? Yes. We talked about that. Just like if you have the two tablespoons and then you put the next tablespoon on there each time, um, you know, after it becomes saturated after a month or so of use, well then wash it. Um, you, you can, can wash it. it. Yeah, yeah. You can wash yeah. it. She's saying you can go as long as two months, but yeah. like, let's say you live in a humid place and the castor oil pack has been sitting out and it's been heated and the sun is meaning that like it's in the sun, yeah. you may want to, you know, wash it sooner, you know, use Refresh your best expression. Yes. Yeah. I always go, go for easy and try not to overstress about it and try to just put a little bit of oh, the oil. It, it's enough with a table, two tablespoons on the first time to give it a bottom coat and then a tablespoon afterwards. I've been testing this now, um, that dose with this pack for over three years now. So we know that that is kind of the winning combination because before we were recommending a lot more and it's not needed. You get the same effect. It isn't needed to do that much. And you wash it by soaking it in hot water with some baking soda, um, like kind of soak it overnight. Uh, then you can wash it by hand with a clean kind of a soap. And then you want to wring it dry. Ideally, you wring it within an old towel that you don't care if it goes away to the garbage. And then you lay it flat to dry and then use it again. But it is so much easier just to try to aim for, I can go two months with just the same pack just by applying like the measure of oil. And then it tends to work quite well. Okay. I'm just going to show you, this is the special offer that Marisol has created for us. So it's it's at a discount you can, you, it's all right there. Use the link that's in the chat, but this is that dry brush that I so adore. You know, I'm really into lymph and, you know, I did a whole lymph summit, a fascia summit, yeah. summits and all that. So this is a really, really nice dry brush. Not all cre are created equally and like, it's got a nice handle for it. Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. That's where you're going to go when you, and, and you can do with that pack for you. I don't know if you if the, uh, out there, if you're aware of it, we can do wet, dr wet dry brushing with castor oil, which I tell you changes your skin completely. It makes, takes it from night and day to completely, you become a new, new human being, I think with your skin. And all it is, is you simply just, of course, as with all dry brushing, you open up the areas, but first put castor oil on right? Put castor oil on your hands and then you go with the castor oil and you, you pump the, the set, the areas, right? This here under the armpit in the middle of the abdomen here, go into the inguinal canal and then in behind of your knees, right? You pump those areas and then you take castor oil again, a small quarter size amount, you blot it and you go like this and you literally pat and tap your skin upwards with the castor oil. And you do this on all your all your extremities. And then you take your dry brush and you follow it up with that. And you do the same thing again, in, inside going in and then all the way to the outside. And then you finish it up and you go like that. It, you, you feel I, like just doing that. I feel energized. Like it's such a beautiful Amazing. practice. Yeah. And your skin, I mean, wow. It changes the skin, the nature of your skin. Yeah, so that's the kit that we have with the 18% yeah. off. Um, so you can pick up other things too, but that was my special Special treat, special yes, combination. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Siobhan's aren't special. Okay. What can we, I'm, I see all your questions. No need to repeat. Um, but can we put it in the clothes washer? 
Uh, I would avoid that. I would avoid the that only too. time. So we're, we're now recommending to uh, wash the pack before first use, just like you would any kind of clothing or any kind of material. Um, anything that you bring into the house, truly you should wash it before you wear it or wash it before you eat it. That should be like a golden rule. And we didn't realize that people weren't doing that. And then we came up upon some research that all material, even organic, you know, there, there could be a transfer in the transportation. There could be issues. So it's just a really good idea to just wash it in your wash washing machine before first use, but oh, do not, God. do not, do not wash it in the washing machine if it has castor oil, because it will, it'll clog up everything and it'll just be a complete disaster. However, you can put it in your dishwasher, ironically, because right. the dishwasher is a lot higher heat. So I actually oftentimes put it in my dish dishwasher if, if I were to clean I it, I don't often do, yeah. but sometimes if I were to, that's where I do it in my dishwasher. Okay. Um, explain the two tablespoons and one tablespoon. So you're going to open the pack, yeah. you're going to put two tablespoons on, exactly. and then you're going to use it, right? And then to refresh it the yeah. next day, you're just going to add one more tablespoon, right? Exactly. Yeah. And blot it. Yeah, blot it exactly. Together. Every time you're blotting it, you go like yeah. that, blot it together or like that, however, however you feel more comfortable for you. See, okay. this is one that's washed. It, it looks exactly the same way after it's washed. All, and then to, once you wash it, lay it flat to dry. Okay. Um, hang on. We've got a couple more questions here. Okay. I love castor oil packs and use them every night. My skin where the pack is has become a little bit discolored. Should I be concerned? I wear it overnight and really have become addicted. Love how they make me feel. So I would be sad to not wear it. Any suggestions? Yeah, that's, I don't really think it should be a problem. What I might probably do is it could be, you know, because castor oil does improve everything from skin quality to thickness, like it improves a lot of different areas of the skin. And if you're only doing it in that area, your body could be having issues with it. What I, if a patient came in with that, I actually, I haven't seen that, but we've been hearing a little bit about that. What I would do is I, I think it's the dry, the wet, dry brushing is the next step because you want castor oil permeated all over your body and probably do a little bit of dry brushing in that area would be my, would be my best guess. Let's talk about the people in Canada. They're having a hard time getting a hold of the product right now. What's your best suggestion? Uh, that you the it's uh, in Canada right now. We're not able to uh, send out anything, so they'd have to wait for a little portion of time. We okay. out of inventory there. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Let's see. How about for breasts? How do we use it for breasts? Now, Very if someone has breast cancer, do we need to do a disclaimer? This is not a treatment for breast cancer. This is not medical advice. We're giving you some beauty and, and health ideas here. So mm -hmm. Ruth, I understand why you're asking. So let's, let's touch on that. Yeah. So first and foremost, lymphatic movement is so important when it comes to anything breast health. And, you know, just that little thing that I was talking about earlier about doing this and going into the armpits, the armpit area is very important for the drainage out, out of the breast. Now, how I use it for breasts is I usually start and do like a massage. Again, I take oil, I put it in my hand, I rub my hands together, and then I, I literally rub my breasts. After doing the pumping motions you just saw, I, I rub from inwards and I rub outwards, as you can see. And I, and I keep on rubbing up into the tail because the tail is here. That's the breast tail. And that's the area that's going to then feed into the node and then be removed out of the body. So I massage first with castor oil. And then after that, I'll wear the pack. And, and then I, and I place it over on. And you can actually, if you have real problems with your breast, you can wear that nightly uh, in alternation with your liver pack if that's an issue for you. Nice. Right? Yeah. nice. Yeah. Feels really good. I um, love it. The breast massage and, and, and don't discount the use of the dry brush with it. Cause that, you know, again, you can get more, more benefit when you're doing the dry brush, the dry brush and castor oil pack combos is an awesome combo. Elaine, I can't really speak to another company, nor would I really on a live like this. Cause it's not fair. I don't know them. Um, and we're just, I'm sorry. It didn't work. What out. I can do is okay. I can speak okay. about the material choices. Let me speak about that. Okay. Um, it, similar to castor oil in a glass bottle, not all castor oil packs are, are created equally. Yeah. We've got to be really, really careful. Now, this is my profession. I am a professional in castor oil packs. Is what I've been studying for close to two decades now. A time flies by really, really fast. So here's what happens with there's competitors on the marketplace. And that's common when more people start to like use and love and work with castor oil packs and feel all the amazing benefits. But a lot of the people who are selling castor oil packs aren't aware at all about the materials and the castor oil and its uniqueness about it being a, a major carrier oil. So we're right now educating people about the dangers of getting 
faker imitation or counterfeit castor oil packs because we're even seeing that at this point. Castor oil packs have to be done with organic cotton or organic wool. It can't be done with organic bamboo is a no-go. Do not buy anything that is made with organic bamboo because organic bamboo, although it seems like it would be such a healthy material, actually isn't. Organic bamboo requires 20 plus uh, caustic chemicals in order to take the bamboo that's as strong as steel in construction down to a material fiber that is, is softer than cotton. Just imagine that, okay? Right. Bamboo is a strong, how many chemicals they have to use and put in? And then they, because it's an eco-friendly bamboo, they use very little water, okay? So they don't wash, all the chemicals don't wash off. And then on top of it, the materials, you know, phthalates are used to keep the materials softer, make it softer because it's blended often. It's a bamboo rayon blend and rayon contains phthalates within it. So be very, very cautious. Also be careful of things that aren't cotton flannel. Like if you hear words like cotton velour or cotton, uh, velour is a, a bond that's made with cotton fibers and rayon and plastic fibers. So again, then you're having that plastic next to your skin. So please just be very, very careful. You're going to see a lot of competition and such, and that's okay. And I love the competition, but I think people need to be aware. If they were doing them made out of organic cotton or organic wool, I would be very happy to recommend them also but I don't see that out there. Well, that's why you created this because you didn't find what you were looking exactly. for. Exactly. Um, is yeah. it safe to use during pregnancy? No, the one contraindication with castor oil packs is to not do them during pregnancy um, simply because, I mean, orally castor oil is known as a, a stimulant purgative and is used, you know, doulas will recommend it and so will midwives in order to induce a pregnancy. Uh, so that's that's about castor oil with regards to pregnancy orally. Now, topically, we don't know if it has the same effect, but we don't want to go there just in case. Ooh, yeah, no, no, no. So um, postpartum, however, castor oil packs can be used and they're used more on the pelvic region rather than the liver until you're done breastfeeding. And actually that's a real benefit because postpartum really castor oil packs help with like reorganization of the tissues and moving your skin back to normal and uterus back in place, all those, all that, all that micro movements that are happening while you're breastfeeding your baby. Can you get this in the UK? Uh, not at this point yet, but very, very, very soon. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, very, very so soon. how does it help if it does help MCAS, mast cell activation syndrome? Yes. Okay. So, and so castor oil is known as an anti-inflammatory naturally. So that's the mechanism of action that it would work with mast cell activation syndrome. One of the keys would be is that it actually would, you know, burst your cell, your, your, your histamine, your mast cells that are full of histamine and start to mobilize and help the body to be able to cleanse and detox it better. Mast cell activation at the end of the day, those are all, it's all focused on the liver. It comes from the liver, begins in the liver, the immune system creates it in the liver. And if the liver is able to cleanse and optimize and detox better, the, the level of mast cells in the system would, would also reduce too. Guys, I have washed mine in my dishwasher multiple times. I yeah. just put it in with the dishwashing soap that I use yeah. and it, co it comes out fine. Okay. Yeah. So you guys don't overthink it. Just give it a try. You're in good yeah. hands there. Um, is How about children? I know we had someone say earlier that they put the castor oil on the feet of their little ones. I so love that. Great and safe for babies and kids. I mean, on the feet, that's great. You're doing like a form of reflexology in the hands as well too. That's a really good thing. These are all very important zones for reflexology of the internal organs. So I love that idea of babies. You can also do baby belly rubs with castor oil, it, which are really beautiful to help them. And then kids castor oil packs. Cause you know, Here's the thing, kids, you develop your microbiome in that first year of life while you're breastfeeding and starting and first beginning to get introduced to foods. And so whatever that you can do in order to really get the baby set up for a good, good life and then in their childhood, get them started on castor oil packs. Oh my, you, you just create wonderful, aware, um, in tune babies who really know and children who really are happy and healthy and vibrant and are doing really, really well. Um, okay. What about talking about, um, facial skin wrinkles? How do you use it on your face? I know you talked about it. it a little bit. Okay. So I use it every which way on my face. I, 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 I like don't leave home without my castor oil pack, my dry brush, my castor oil, my, my everything, <laughs> my brushes, my, all those things. So the first way that I use it um, for beauty is that I wear it with an eye mask at night to sleep. So my eye mask 
go somewhere over here. Where did I put it? I put it somewhere. Anyhow, oh, there, oh, it fell. My eye mask. So what I do is I apply castor oil topically all the way around my eyes because castor oil is a, com a combination of 90% what's known as ricinoleic acid and then 10% a mix of oleic acid. And the other 10% a mix of is of linoleic acid, similar to that of a evening primrose oil, ladies. Evening primrose oil. Okay, this is why castor oil is such a good oil for beauty care. So it, that's used in hormonal cases, that's used in all, all over the places, but evening primrose oil, the research with it, with regards to it, is that it helps with building of the collagen bonds underneath the skin. So I apply castor oil and I do it in like a lymphatic way, right? So I do lymphatic and I, I blot castor oil and I go always upwards, always upwards around here like this downwards and then up and then out. And so I'll, I'll rub castor oil around my face. That's one way that I will do it. Another way is that I will wash my face with castor oil, which is awesome. So I wash off all my makeup. I take off all my eye makeup remover. I've gone, I'm an ex beauty queen. <laughs> she really is. Yeah, I really am. And I've gone from like, you know, a, a beauty routine with like 10 different oh. toner, this, that, blah, 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 blah. I mean, this moisturizer for that, that moisturizer from that, like it's just insane to literally castor oil being probably my most important oil. And then one more oil for a lighter oil in the daytime when I'm not feeling castor oil. Cause sometimes castor oil in all honesty can be a little bit too heavy for a daytime moisturizer, but it's great for a nighttime moisturizer. Oil washing is amazing. Um, oil washing, you uh, do the same thing. You're always going to do the same thing with castor oil. A little amount, a little goes more, goes, and then you, you blot it in your hands. And then first you steam a cloth, steam your face so that you can open up the pores. Then you pour the castor oil. Then you blot it on your face in an upwards direction, ladies. We don't want anything to go downwards, especially here. This area is very important in the jaw and the jowl, right? Because because one of the signs of aging is that we start to get jowls there, which we, we are working yeah. on avoiding those things. Still look gorgeous, but we want to avoid them, right? Why not, why not maintain our beauty as long as we can? And then you take that same steamed cloth and then you wipe it off and you'll notice your skin is clean. It feels excellent. It's moisturized all in the right areas where it needs to be. And it's, it's exceptional. Okay, go ahead. When, and then you can do it as an, a mask. We have formulas and recipes to do it in a mask with clay, with, with egg, with uh, so many different ingredients. You can make a, a facial scrub with it, with salt and green tea. I mean, there's just the endless amounts of possibilities when it comes to beauty. The one thing that we get questioned about all the time, which I'd love to just share is sure. this. People get concerned because it, it's used to grow eyebrows and eyelashes. That if, you know, say you're a woman who has PCOS or maybe menopause and you start having facial hair in places that you don't want hair, if you start using castor oil to like remove your makeup and then as a face wash and, and mask, will it make you grow hair in areas you don't want? And it, it will not. I mean, if anything, I've noticed, and I've been talking about this on my Instagram account a lot because we get the question quite a bit, um, is that I've noticed I've had less hair growth. And I come from a history of having before my before starting to do castor oil packs PCOS. So I had a lot of problems with mustache and under, under chin hair. I no longer have any under chin hair. And what is left here, I think is just a normal amount of facial hair that you know, would be normal, like a little bit of a baby's, uh, baby's blush there. So yeah, it, it won't create hair where you don't want it. It will where you're supposed to have it. So about massages, I don't have my therapist. This is my cat's tail just walking by here. Sorry. Um, I don't have my massage therapist use castor oil for my massage. But what we do is we put the pack on my liver Love while that. I'm getting the therapy. And then she has like a hot pack that's not electric and it's akin to a hot water bottle yes. and then we put it on top of that. So that's how I would suggest that you all use that. Awesome. What if, Can you put each, a drop in each ear? Yeah, so castor oil has been, now ours isn't for internal use, so I want to claim that right now, but castor oil has been used in ears for lots of reasons, like either to clear out, like yeast overgrowth can oftentimes in the ear cause uh, accumulation of earwax, and castor oil is known antimicrobial or balancer of microbiome, right, because the other way people use castor oil is a oil pull. So this is possible because you're not internally swallowing it. Um, we use oil pulling because it balances the microbiome. I mean, dental, they're, they're testing castor oil now in dental care. Oh, like it's awesome. Pretty, it's awesome. So you can, with castor oil, as compared to normal oil pulling, sesame seed oil, like you would need 
uh, you would need one tablespoon to two tablespoons. But orally, with oil pulling and castor oil, it's one teaspoon to two teaspoons, and it's only for five minutes, two minutes versus twenty minutes. Oh, that's so much vegetables. better. Yeah. So you just swish and swash for two minutes and then spit it in a cup that has like a paper towel. And then you dispose of that in the garbage. And it, it really helps with dental care. You don't want to put it down the sink. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you use it for traumatic brain injuries, PTSD and vagus nerve? So this is so interesting. So I just literally had a uh, concussion and my go-to of course was my castor. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was on in skiing and mild, moderate, but I've had a history of concussions. So I had to be careful, you know, uh, re or like coming back with my symptoms and such, right? I didn't want to go through what I went through with that concussion, which was pretty bad. Um, and I use castor oil packs throughout my entire treatment, of course, because, you know, we're trying, we, at castor oil packs, they retrain the system. And this is the reason why the, the relaxed state response. And this is why it's so key to do it repetitively. And you, I mean, you can do it for two weeks at a time, but it's much better if you're doing it nightly, because one of the things that we're out of training on is our relaxation response. Right. And unless you're super dedicated yogi or someone who's constantly focused on, you know, relaxing and relaxing and relaxing, which is not many of us in this world, uh, you know, we're so busy that this is a way that you can just do it while you're going to sleep and get that extra bonus and that training of your nervous system. It's a beautiful multitasker. Um, yeah. Okay. What about lung health? How has it been used for coughing and with lung issues? Um, awesome. Julie hasn't had any luck with that, helping with her cough, but I don't know. When yeah, topically to over the lungs is the way that we use it, but you still need to use it on the liver because you need to source the liver inflammation, which is the source of every problem at the end of the day, the liver and the gut, because things get stuck in the gut and they feed back up into the liver and the liver's got to process it. So it's always that vicious cycle that you're, you're really working at getting balanced. So for lung issues, the way that's typically used is that we do the liver pack like every second night, and then you can wear your, wear it over your lungs, usually in the back of your chest or in the front. I've typically worn it in the back of my chest. I've had a predisposition for like uh, pneumonias as a child. I had many of them. So oftentimes I'll, I'll get like a lower lobe pneumonia. So I'll wear mine on the, on the lower part part of my back, but this isn't an immediate cure by any means. This is part of a protocol. It's not one and done. It's, this is, this is, a, a, it takes time to change what has happened over the years. And even with acute cough, cough sometimes. Okay. I, you guys, we do need to uh, wrap up in about five minutes. So I'm going to ask this question one more time. Just, I think we need to say it very slowly. Yeah. New moon is when you bleed. So is that okay. when you do the COP or did you say full moon is when you bleed? Go ahead. Okay. Let me do it. So if you are, so if you're in the fertile phase of your life, think newly fertile, right? New fertility, newly fertile. So if you're say in, in PCOS and, and, and you're not cycling regularly, then you would start it on the new moon because your goal is to have a new baby. Okay. Okay. If, if you're past that point of babies and you're in perimenopause and, or maybe you just don't even want babies, or right? Like I, yeah. I never wanted my own babies. I got gift babies, which is really excellent for my husband. Um, but so, and I've always ironically uh, uh, menstruated on the full moon. So if you're fulfilled with children or don't need any, you're fulfilled, you, you want to time your cycle on the full moon. So starting, so you, your best time for detoxification and cleansing is from full moon. Like, cause you're in your cougar. Oh, you're <laughs> full moon. I'm making it up as I go full moon to ovulation. So 15 days later, and that's if you're having a period or not, like if you're in full on menopause and no period, well then absolutely you can, you want to just time it to the, to the cycle. We also have, you'll see on our site, pelvic packs, as well. And many people you will use the liver pack in that from the, again, from bleeding until ovulation, and then they'll switch on over because the energy drops in the body at it for fertility, or even in women and in perimenopause and menopause, the energy just naturally still drops in the body down into the uterus um, from ovulation up until the first day of your bleed. So that's why how we cycle it. And it's actually, it's similar to seed cycling, but done with castor oil packs. And it's, it's, it, it works like we have testimonials up on our website on how good it works. It's quite interesting. Well, also, okay. It's a castor oil seed that yeah. the oil is made from. A bean, a bean. It's a not bean, a seed, it's a bean. A, bean. Bean. Thank a little you. bit different, but yeah. Well, it yeah, is a little a bit different. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like the tomatoes of fruit. Okay. Exactly. Um, good for adrenal exhaustion. Heck yeah. Get you in that, that rest and digest state. 
Exactly. Parasympathetic promoter. This promotes the parasympathetic state where you digest, you rest, you absorb, you detox, you cleanse. And that's, that's where healing your vital natural force of healing. That's where it can take charge and do what it's got to do, right? Not an outside pill or an outside something. This is actually your body can actually reactivate its healing mechanisms when you're shifted into the relaxed state. That's what makes it so powerful. And, you know, you'll be hard pressed to find a supplement that can do all the things that castor oil packs can do. Yeah. And you, you can't take enough magnesium because you would have so much diarrhea and you can't take enough GABA in order to create that, the calm shift response that you get with a castor oil pack. You got to try it. Give it a few nights. Yeah. Like if you're not, you if you're not the first night, if you don't have like this great response, give it a few nights. Like I'd say yeah. at least five, what were we going to say Marisol? And if you are non-responding to it, if you've been doing it for three to five nights or up to seven nights and you're non-responding for me in clinical practice, that was a huge sign that my patient was dehydrated and had low minerals because the castor wow. oil pack yeah is shifting you into the relaxed state. It's reducing inflammation. It's getting things ready to go for elimination, but in the body, we need to have proper hydration in order for things to flow out. So you won't feel the benefit. So, so I used it clinically as a way to know whether or not my patients were, were dehydrated or not. And then I would always confirm it with like a urine dipstick. And sure enough, there, you know, seven days, they came back, no response, they were dehydrated. And then we worked on a a rehydration protocol with maybe like a lemon water in the morning with a pinch of salt or some electrolytes, something along those lines. Okay. Um, what about for men? Yes. It's great for men too. Our, we, we tend to market a lot towards women, me being a woman, me having a, a very predominant woman practice throughout my lifetime, my friends being predominantly <laughs> women in this industry. Um, but men, my husband is an avid user and men do as well with castor oil packs as women do, especially when it comes from everything to fertility, to prostate, to support of colon problems. I mean, again, it, it is that, that, all encompassing. If you can shift the body into the relaxed state, if you can yep. reduce inflammation, there's a benefit to everybody within that. Okay. We have about a minute left. Um, what about for congestion? And like, yeah, so can, problems? I mean, I've used clinically with, with, uh, you know, oral based castor oil. I've, I've done neti pots, adding a couple of drops of green tea with castor oil, which tends to work very good. But in, in what I would do with congestion, I would go for lymphatics rub castor oil again here here rule out mold rule out all the different things right because we've got to be thinking about all the possible things that it could be if you've got chronic congestion mold's probably a problem you should probably be wearing a castor oil pack nightly um again speak with your doctor i'm not your doctor i'm just giving education here but it, you know typically you'd want to have your liver will be overwhelmed with dealing with the mold but you can again do like like lymph drainages for the sinuses like this with castor oil like lifting it's and then so downwards and moving yeah like these are all the ways that you have to go back and forth and you just you need to create a little bit of inflammation and redness there in order to get things moving okay um what about in my infrared sauna can i use castor oil so uh, you can use castor oil on its own, but I wouldn't recommend using the packs and saunas because again, it is an outside plastic layer and there is a potential that that plastic mirror might, might break down with the higher heats of sauna. Right. So I'd rather err on the side of caution. If you want to go in the sauna, just put the castor oil pack on the castor oil on your body, sorry, and then just go in. And then when you're out of the sauna, put on the pack and you'll have a beautiful combination. Okay. Blotting yeah. it is really important. We're going to keep yes. going. Actually, can you do me a favor, everyone, and pop some love into the chat for Marisol? Thank you so much, my friend. Um, breast decalcifications were found. Can I put it there? Yeah, there it's safe. It's safe again over over all areas as long as there's no open wound. We don't put castor oil packs over any open wound. Uh, castor oil has been typically collectively used for things where there's accumulations and there are things that aren't breaking down very easy. Castor oil helps to break those things down. Oh, love, 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 Diane. Thank you, and thank you from Alaska, Elaine. Thanks, guys. So nice to see you all. I learned a lot. Wonderful, amazing. Thank you, thank you. Great questions, guys. Yeah, I love energy, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the go to the link that Clarissa is probably trying to keep up with posting in the chat. Awesome. Okay, now on my face, and there it is—the eighteen percent coupon on that special bundle. And yeah, fatty liver closing with fatty liver. Come on yeah. now. Yeah, absolutely. They have actually now called changed fatty liver to when and it, they used to call it non-alcoholic fatty liver, and now it's a metabolic metabolic because fatty liver ultimately is coming from sugar dysregulation, which is a base 
issue in all of our autoimmune, our hormonal problems, all these different conditions. So castor oil actually, I had a fatty liver before going to naturopathic college. I started doing castor oil packs at the end of naturopathic college. I no longer have any signs of a fatty liver and I'm not perfect with my lifestyle. I'm telling you, even if you think I'm a naturopath, I am not perfect. I like to live. I do a little bit of everything. Um, yep. I do focus on doing my castor oil packs regularly because I know I have a tendency to get off, fall off the wagon. So that's okay. We can all fall off the wagon as long as we jump on. Back that's on. right. Get back on. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing one more question because we've had multiple questions about eyes and cataracts. Yeah, so there's there's research that shows castor oil being used for eyes. And that's where the eye mask is really, really beneficial wearing that to sleep at night. What I do is I put the castor oil all the way around the eyes. I don't put it inside the eye. I do the same thing in the eye mask. I do the oil, a, a small, small amount of oil and blot it and put it on my eyes. And then I'm getting the castor oil eye compress. So that's a way that can help with that as well too. And that's something that you can add on to the kit as well too. It's called the beauty sleep eye kit. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Petunia the kitty cat says hello and thank you. Thank you, Marisol. We'll talk very soon. Thanks everybody. Thank you you will be getting a replay in awesome. your emails. And then also you can find this on our YouTube channel at SIBO space SOS. And then also in our Facebook group, which is SIBO SOS community. And we've been streaming it live there. So look in the media section because it'll be there. And um, all right. Love you. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Love, 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 love. See y'all soon. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. Take care. Thanks, Clarissa. Thanks, T.